afternoon viewers. So yeah, welcome to the channel. I'm Shane. And I'm Julia. And we're the Rolfs and um, our channel is Rolf International. We're a relocation business. We help with everything on re relocation to Mauritius. So any help you need with moving house, moving pets, finding homes, um, doing permits, give us a call. Um, our email address is info at rolfinternational.com and today we're going to be speaking everything climate. So that's one of the big reasons uh, and one of our other five main reasons you live in Mauritius is because of the climate. And um, yeah, so the climate is varying. Um, it's not a massive swing like other countries as we know it. Um, there's not a big uh, winter in Mauritius, but we're going to take you through some, some of the seasons and stuff that you'll need to know. So where are we today? We're in October. So October, we, we're starting to go into summer and today we had a really popping hot day in Mauritius. It was 31 degrees um, today, so hot for, for October, November, it really starts heating up. That's right, yeah, we can definitely, this week there's been a gear change where we're coming out of what I would say uh, the September winds. Yeah, so, so it's, been, yeah, it's been very windy. Huh? Yeah, very windy, and uh, so the winds have calmed down, but the heat has picked up, so we can sense that summer is just around the corner. So the winds are great if you're a kite surfer. So the kite surfers flood to Mauritius. Uh, July, August, September, those are really windy months um, and more so on the east coast because we get an easterly wind um, on that coast is always blowing um, not, not as much on the west coast where we're from in Tamron but it is a welcomed wind in, um, in that time because it's a, a coolness that blows through um, everything is looking very dry at the moment so we, we've got Lateral Mountain which is behind our house and it's gone from green to brown um, and my kids actually picked it up the other day driving home. They were like, geez, Dad, why is the mountain so brown? So it's just because of a lack of rain. Um, we, we go into our rainy season in summer. So um, now, like we're going into November, it's going to start kicking up. Uh, it's going to be into the 30s. Um, December is also very hot, but quite calm. Uh, we, we like it as fishermen because the sea is usually very flat. We don't have wind, so it's nice yeah. to go fishing. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, let Julia tell you what happens after December. Yeah, I think that, well, well, first of all, as the winds drop and the rains pick up, so does the humidity. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and that kind of is like almost this build-up that happens from end of November, December, um, and then you hit January, February, and it's, and it's really humid. So it's not just the heat that you're facing, it is the humidity that almost makes it like a hot blanket that's sort of hits you as you walk out the door. So air conditioning, air conditioning, air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. So, so we, we actually, we naughty, we live in aircon the whole year round. We like to sleep with aircon on personally, um, but February is the killer month. So we, we usually take our annual holidays where we go overseas, our once a year annual holiday in, in February so that we can escape the heat. Um, and we'll either go back to South Africa or we'll go to Europe. And um, yeah, it's a nice reprieve from the, the hot weather when you climb off that airplane and it hits you. Hits you in the face, the humidity. So that's February. Um, now it hasn't actually been that easy the last few years now that the kids are sort of the school is getting more tough to take them out during mm. the February months. And then, of course, lockdown. We haven't been able to have our February escape. So we faced uh, each season um, head on. And um, it's something that I've noticed that every year I feel like it feels hotter every year. And I don't know if it's just a mindset. But, um, and it feels like that February month is stretching into March a little bit more. I don't know how you feel. Yeah, so no, it does. I think that it's still quite warm in March. When you start going into April, it really starts cooling cooling down. You feel a bit of a temperature drop. The, the, um, the sun goes down earlier in the evenings. The temperatures are cooler in the evenings. It's really nice. So like April and May are two of my favorite months in Mauritius. Um, because the weather is really gorgeous. Um, and what you also see is in November, December, January, February, the sea temperature goes up to between 27, 28, 29, and sometimes even, even over 29 when you're hitting February. And oh, then- in, And this in, is a cyclone season as well. Yeah, so that's gonna be another whole video we're gonna chat to you about cyclones and what you have to do and prepare for cyclones. We have a lot of questions from our clients who are really worried about cyclones, but we'll, we'll do another video on cyclones to explain that. So yeah, so then if you're moving out of February, like we said, going into April, May, June, uh, June it really starts cooling down. Um, you, we, we always have to change your, your lights, that your lights come on, your garden lights, and that later, later or earlier in the, in the evening because it gets dark quickly. But June's really a nice month. It, it is cooler. 
we this year I think we hit down to the, the coolest was 19 degrees one morning we woke up and we came out and it was 19 degrees which is um, wow one of the lowest I've ever seen I thought it was 14 no, that was in July Oh, that was July. Okay, yeah, we're so, still in June. Sorry. Yeah, so so <laughs> June went down to 19. July we had a morning that was 14 degrees, mm -hmm. and when you come out and you've got that like uh, not frost, but that that uh, that water sitting on your windscreen where you have to put those demisters on. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, nothing. You're still going out in a in a shirt like this and shorts because by the afternoon it's already really pushed up to 24, 25 degrees. Um, so uh, yeah, so if you're moving over here. You're not going to need big boots, big jackets, um, unless you're traveling overseas. You know, when, when we always joke, we say in, in winter when we go down to the beach, we wear two costumes. Um, you can still swim. Uh, we jumped in the sea the other day. It was about 24 degrees. It was cool, but it was actually very, very refreshing. Yeah. And one of the things is we're obviously talking mostly about the coastal regions of the island. Yeah. In the, the winter months, in the center of the island, Ooh. where you are high up in the mountains. Freezing. It does get cold, yeah. so we are talking generally on the on the coastal regions. So every time um, we go from Black River up to say Kirapi or Vakwa, and you forget, and you're wearing your t-shirts and shorts, and um, you get there, and it's like, oh, I didn't bring a jersey, you know. So there are those uh, temperature differences depending on where you are in the island, and Black River is also known to be one of the driest regions, no, which just... which um, also brings a lot of heat. So. Um, we notice a difference when we drive, for example, from Black River to Grand Bay even. Even though it's hot, it's, it's a, a, a degree different or more yeah. and it's a slightly different heat. So, so we, can be driving, we can be driving from the center of the island down to Black River and it can be 22 degrees on the, in the center of the island and you're 10, 15 minute drive away from Black River and by the time you get to Black River, it's 28, 29 degrees. So as soon as you get to the coast, the temperature just jumps up. Um, yeah, so I think I think if if you look at them, the there's not really a big seasonal swing here when it comes to temperatures. So there's not a really defined uh, autumn. There's not a really defined spring. Um, so it's really it is a winter and a summer month. Um, so in in the winter months, like I said, like in the evenings, we'll go out and you'll wear a long sleeve t-shirt um, or, or like a, a really um, a really thin jersey or a jumper that you'll keep just in case. Um, and then just over the last three months, so, so July, August, September, it's windy. So it's been quite windy these months. Temperature's been okay, but um, that's the, the months that, uh, like I said, it's known for kite surfing and all the sports people get out here. Terrible for fishing because the, the, the sea's quite rough, so we've hardly done any fishing over the last three months, but uh, we're about to hit the water very soon. So Yeah. So if you, what to expect is uh, sunny days and a warm climate most year round. Yeah. My favorite, as Shane mentioned as well, is the month of May because it's still beautiful sunny days. It's warm, not too hot, slightly cooling off in the evenings and the sea is still nice and warm. So it's yeah. nice to be swimming still. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you are someone who loves the, the warmer temperatures, um, this is the place to be. Definitely. Mm. So guys, that's our little take uh, on, on the weather in Mauritius. Um, you're welcome to drop any questions in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we ask you please to subscribe and like the video. And yeah, we're going to see you again next week Friday. Cheers guys. Bye guys. Have a good weekend. Ciao.